about that because during her 17 years as a Ramsey Street resident, uh, Jackie here has been in a plane crash. She got married, divorced. She's been widowed. She's had amnesia. Uh, she slept with a priest. That's enough. Anything else? After no more that? after that. <laughs> That's what he said. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> All in a day's work, really, for Susan Kennedy. <laughs> Oh, Jackie, oh. you know, look, that, so many years crammed together there. And I know, when you right. joined, by my calculations, we're going back to about 1994. Yes. But neighbours had already had, uh, you know, the massive big push yes, and yes. the Kylie and Jasons and everybody Huge else. Years, it yeah. all happened. The show was massive. Yeah. Who were the big names when you joined? Look, I think, looking back all those years, um, we had uh, Kimberly Davies playing Annalise Hartman, who was the blonde bombshell. and. You know, a very exciting character. Of course, Harold and Madge yeah. were, you know, right up there as in terms of popularity in, in the show. Um, Lou, of course, who's still in the show. Um, so many young actors have come and gone over the years, and so many have gone on to huge things. Jesse Spencer, who played my son now in House in the yeah. US. So. Yeah. And when you went in, I mean, had you ever been in a, in a kind of soap? serial drama before. Yeah, I'd done quite a, quite a lot of TV. I, I played uh, a character called Julie Egbert, <coughs> excuse me, in um, Prisoner, just mm. before Neighbours. You say Prisoner, do you mean as Prisoner cell, cell Block H? H. Yes. Really? Yes, I was Chucky Egbert. So you were behind bars? I was, mm. I was. I was embezzling money in order to send my dying mother on the Women's Weekly World Discovery Tour. So I, I meant <laughs> well. Yeah, you meant well. Yes. So even though you've put in, you've clocked in 17 <coughs> years, so there's, there's water Thank there you. if you want that. 17 years now on Neighbours. Do you, as an actress, do you wait for the chop? Do you wait for some awful storyline? When you came through, Ruth was saying about that plane crash plane and whatever. Crash. Yes. Do you sort of think, well, I'll not come out of this plane crash, look, and then you find I, out you do? Yeah, I, I think every actor is basically insecure. I think every week we think we're going to get the memo saying, I'm sorry, we've made a terrible mistake, mm -hmm. and you need to go right now. <laughs> I know the first, the first year on the show, um, I thought, oh, well, lovely, a, a year's work, that'll be great, I can get my flat painted, it'll be terrific. I never thought for a second I'd still be here 17 years later. And what is it you've loved about playing Susan? Because she's quite a complex... Girl, she isn't she, is. woman? she just, I mean, you know, you mentioned some of the things that she's been through. Who gets to have that yeah. life? You know, it's every week there are new scripts, new stories, new challenges, new people to work with. It's, um, it's a great job. Do you, do you think she just loves to be needed? She, she's a bit of a mother hen, isn't she? Absolutely. In fact, this is, this is going to become a bit of an issue in the future because she does define herself by her role as a mother and a wife. And, and now the kids are all grown up and, you know, um, all her extended kids have left as well and currently there's an interesting story because uh, Kyle is thrilled that it's just the two of them left he's wrapped he thinks great we can travel just the two of us but she sort of doesn't know what to do in that in that dynamic she'd rather have the house full of kids so but it sounds like what ahead. she might do is start looking at other men is that right well I mean, you can't give too much away give but too much away yeah but not necessarily in the way you think it's 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 an interesting dilemma i mean what is infidelity is infidelity well just... while you ponder <laughs> oh we got out of that well, one quickly or needed an emergency it's by doctor. the nurse so that so things are not <clears throat> looking good how many times have you and carl been married uh three <laughs> okay three. <laughs> and and who knows and who knows where that could be exactly to. exactly yes um talking about travels i mean um as a you're, you'll be known, obviously, in Australia, Britain, Ireland. Um, where else do you enjoy fame as Susan? Does it surprise you where Neighbours ends up? It does. It does indeed. I, I, listening to your gorgeous accent, I'm, I'm loving listening to your accent ah. because I'm from Northern Ireland. So, of course, you know, when I go back there and start talking like that, you know. It's very good. <laughs> it's very, very good. You're from Carrick, Fergus. I am. Yeah. I am. So, I, it, so obviously the show is very big there, and it's lovely. It's lovely going to visit relatives who who I don't know terribly well, but they, they feel you. they know yeah. me straight away, and that's really nice. Yeah. And what about like Emma saying around the world? Have you been anywhere? You know, having a coffee in Hong Kong? I, I'm yet to see myself dubbed into Portuguese or anything. I'd love to. I think that'd be hysterical. But okay. um, but I know that we go to lots of, of different countries. Occasionally we'll get mail from from Scandinavia or from you yes. know, Denmark. Or when you put those Germany. 17 years together and we put the compilation at the top, top there of the interview, was there one storyline which defined her or which as an actress gave you the most challenge or is there one that's just a favourite that you really enjoyed doing? I think 
It would have to be the um, Susan Kyle Izzy love triangle. Mm. That was such a departure for the character of Susan because she got to hate someone. <laughs> she got to be vicious. She got to be. She got to try to score points just for the fun of it, which you know she she'd never done. She was always this great mother and loving, wonderful, caring person. But of course that. It's a bit two-dimensional, mm. so it was great to play those things as well. And then we're thinking we're, we're very far behind the storyline, but we're not maybe too far behind. I think. No, I are think we're only about four or five weeks. Weeks, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. And are you up. here on holiday, a break? Holiday, you, yeah. holiday. Just had a, a very big storyline, which is mm. to do with what we've just seen, um, which ended with Susan leaving to have some space and some time to think about what she wants in the future. And gave me a lovely opportunity to come and have a holiday. So, oh well, it's great. lovely to see you. Thank you for stopping off. Oh, my off pleasure. My pleasure. And coming to see us, and uh, we shall see with interest where the Carl yes. and uh, and Susan's story Won't goes. Won't be next. what you expect. Yes. Oh, okay. Mm. Well, that's good. See, I love that line and that scene that you know between you and him there, where he said, "Look, we're going in different directions." Every time I say that to Ruth, she just goes, yeah, whatever, and doesn't listen. Actually, That's I'm it. listening to you thinking, you like Carol and Susan. Listen to you. Yeah. Could be, could be. We're not divorced yet. <laughs> and we'll not get remarried three times no. either. Very expensive, then, yes. Yeah. You know, had one chance at it, and that's it. Right. Oh, I'm scared. We've not. got the summer competition. Summer competition.